age and they're all about partying and getting drunk and making money. And and, and you have a, a million different messages being preached from, from probably from just this stage. And it sometimes gets confusing. So so I want I want to give you guys one uh, a, a one like measuring stick by which to uh, by which to decide if, if what somebody's saying is true or not. If what they're saying to you does not bring glory to Jesus Christ, ignore it. Yeah. I'm going to get an email from somebody about that, right? Okay. Listen, yeah. we, can tell, we can talk to people about how suicide is a bad thing, and addiction is a bad thing, and abuse is a bad thing, until we're blue in the face, but unless we give somebody the cure for it, it's not going to do them any good. So let me stand up here and tell you that the cure for all human brokenness is the blood of Jesus Christ. shut up for five years and we haven't stopped yet. Friend, we're not going to shut up about the blood of our king. I've seen him turn addicts. I've seen him turn addicts into, in, 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 into, into new people. I've seen him take suicidal people and use them to love others in that same situation. I've seen it. I know that he saved sinners because I was one. I know that he saved broken suicidal addicts because that was me when he found me and he picked me back up and set me back on my feet again, man. And I can't give him enough praise. So I want to tell you, I believe right now that the Holy Spirit is beginning to show you things in your own life that are a result of brokenness, that are a result of sin, that are a result of your own rebellion or maybe your own ignorance, that maybe for years you thought something was cool just because you saw it on MTV and you've been living your life based on a lie. If you're realizing that tonight, I want you to understand that the remedy for that lie is the blood of Jesus. You need to begin to look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Friend, he made a promise to people like you. He said, seek and you will find. Yeah. Listen, you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, go through a 12-step program to become a Christ follower. You don't, you don't have to start coming to my church or, or buy my book or anything like that. You don't have to give me any money. All you have to do to find the real living King, the Son of the living God, Jesus Christ, is to seek Him. We promise if you seek Him, you find Him. I want you to understand the significance of that. You are one decision away from hope that cannot be stolen. You are one decision away from peace that cannot be shaken. You are one decision away from a life of a life of power and love and acceptance unlike anything you could possibly imagine. Yeah. So we come here, not for the sake of our reputation, we come here to invite you to come into the life you were made to live. Woo!